Welcome back to 6 News at 10. Time to take a look at your weather and it's Thursday. It's almost not Thursday anymore. Football game ran a little bit longer there than we thought it would, but it is time to take a look at your drought monitor as we do every Thursday and unfortunately it is not good news. We only had some spotty showers this week, so would you expect anything different? Probably not. So most of central Texas now the e western parts of the Brazos Valley now moving into that level four out of four drought that exceptional drought. So that's the highest category of drought that we have. So obviously not great news. We need some extended and sustained rainfall. And you know we've been talking about those rain chances here for the last few days and let's see what we got in store for us. So things could start to look up for us as early as tomorrow. So let's take a look. Now remember at five, we showed a pretty good chance for rain for the Brazos Valley tomorrow evening. But now as we put our forecast model in motion, sunny during the day, it's going to be a hot day tomorrow. You see the southwest winds, we're talking a degree or two warmer than it was today. But by tomorrow evening, that's when we see the storms start to develop along the eastern periphery of the viewing area. And Earlier, it was pushing the storms a lot further west than it is now, so this model has a little bit less confidence for how much rain we're actually going to get in the 6 News viewing area, but you can see some storms developing right around football kickoff time. That's not great news either, because if there's any lightning, you know those games will get delayed a little bit. Put it back in motion, stays with us through about 8.30, and again, much, much smaller than it was at 5 o'clock. That's the unfortunate side of things, but again, this model still picking up on some storms spilling in from DFW there as we head through the overnight hours as well. Towards Saturday, we start off mostly clear. And it's going to be another very warm day on Saturday. But again, that's when we see storms possibly developing in our western counties as well as we head through the heating, the, the hottest part of the day, Saturday afternoon. And then again, they kind of dissipate as we lose those that daytime heating. So for tomorrow, some of those storms we saw earlier could be severe. And again, our biggest threat is going to be wind. Best chances for severe weather are going to be the eastern zones of the viewing area. So keep that in mind. Again, wind the biggest threat tomorrow. The other half of the story, of course, temperatures still in the 80s and 90s out there right now. Excessive heat warning in effect for everybody tomorrow through nine o'clock. Again, it's going to be very hot. How hot? How about 109 in some spots up to 110 in other spots? So a very hot day tomorrow and with a little bit of humidity actually going to feel like it's close to 111, 112 in some spots. As we head through the weekend, though, that's where those rain chances start to move in. Again, that high pressure ridge moving back to the west, allowing some disturbances to move through, give us those rain chances. And then a cold front to start next week could actually have us in the mid and lower 90s as we head through the early parts of next week. We'll be right back.